Teaman 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, Teaman 978. Thank you for tuning in. Right now I'm going to be reviewing, thanks to Kevin Womack, Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Cloud Strife. If you see my collection tour for Kevin's collection, you see that he has a ton of toys laying about. Anywho, I appreciate his generosity here. And next I gotta talk him into letting me hold some doll life. Homemade seed Spider-Man. Anyway, these things come in some beautiful packaging with beautiful artwork and it has English in it. Isn't that awesome? And he comes with a plethora, like he comes with an arsenal of, of accessories and you can't find him for less than $125. All of these usually come with a stand. Unfortunately, you have to rip this plastic off of this board right here to get at it. So I'm not going to do that here. Here's what the stand looks like and all the accessories that are involved with it. Here are the instructions for his accessories and whatnot. The face on this guy looks like he leapt out of the movie. In fact, the whole details. I'm having a hard time getting the camera to like focus on it. I don't know whether it's his waxy skin tone or what. I, I, I just need a new camera. But anywho, you can see the other details in his outfit. Well, fortunately, it looks like actual fabric, which of course it's not. Even the arm right there, what is axle fabric is this cloth around the leg. It even has bendy wire in it so you can pose it, which is really cool. Unfortunately with this dude, they went for form over function. His posability is kind of lacking compared to some of the other Play Art Sky figures that I've re reviewed or the ones that I own, the two that I own. The back looks nice. This holster looks nice. These weapons look nice. I haven't taken them out, at least not all of them. But they spared no expense as far as the details. And that function that I'm talking about that's frustrating with him is he doesn't have a butterfly joint. Like, you give a sword-wielding character no butterfly joint. It was very difficult trying to get him to hold this sword like this. I'm going to be super duper honest. While we're on difficult, getting this handle into his hand was very difficult. They didn't make it so that this detaches and then you could slide it through the hands and then put this on. I guess that wouldn't have been sturdy. It probably would have kept spinning around because it does have a little bit of weight to it. Because as you can see, it's multi-layered as far as plastic, which is very nice in look, but the weight of it. And trying to make him hold it in one hand is, is kind of difficult. But well, let's look at him without all those weapons and whatnot. And let you see, like, under here, the pants are actually detailed. Here are his butt pockets and whatnot. So it looks just like the movie. He has a belt on and everything. Very cool. And this holster right here is attached by the two straps at his upper back this is like a nice solid piece so eh on some levels I could see why these things are worth what they're worth well this one in particular but he is lacking in key articulation points especially compared to my Harley Quinn and my Arkham Knight play arts guy so let's get into some of those details the head is on a ball post, so it can rock here, tilt there, and the neck, I believe, is on uh, another ball joint or ball post at the bottom. It can rotate, so you can see that his Adam's apple shifted, so that helps with posing. The arms can go all the way out to the side. They can rotate at the shoulder on that ratchet post system right there he has bicep swivel on both arms right here and he has another arm by the way they have that like sort of revoltech type joint right there so you can swivel at the forearm and bend a little bit more than 90 degrees on both sides it swivels at the top as well 
this Revoltech type joint at the wrist, which might be unsightly to some people. He has like a ball post in the upper diaphragm that doesn't really rock back too much. It doesn't rock forward too much. Same situation at the waist and the crotch parts, crotch and butt part on all of these are usually typically soft to get out of the way so they can do more posing, but he does not crunch in dynamically at all. I mean, he can crunch back more than he can. Eh, it's probably about the same. One thing I would have wanted is drop down hips. I mean, he can do a kick, a, almost a full split, but kicking forward, even though this is pliable, it kind of hinders things. I guess he can kick out 90 degrees. But one thing I wanted is thigh rotation right here. They didn't give him that. But he does rotate on this ratchety joint right there. Double jointed knees. And that's what you're working with sculpt wise. If you bend that. This little cuff right here is connected by that. So that gets out of the way. And he has that same universal ratchety joint right there. So you can rotate and do all the things you need to do. Turn it so you can get ankle pivot. And he has the toe joint right there. So he has a good amount of posability. But getting it to pose, it fights with you. And this bendy wire goes from here all the way around and to the back. So you can get all types of flowy poses. It's way better than that freaking SH figure where it's Batman. And yeah, it's even bendy wire up here. So you can fold and bend up there as well. To get into the accessories, you can pull this arm out. And that's what it looks like. Reattach this. <clears throat> and here's this arm with the little thing on there. I forgot what that meant. Like, since he had the geostigma in his arm, he wanted to cover it with this sleeve. And this ribbon, I don't know if that was to for Aerith or whatever. Since he has no hand, let's put this hand on. This is an open palm hand. He can cast his materia spells and whatnot with that. Or he can grasp onto things or whatever you need him to do with that. To make sure I focus on it, here's the back of his head. And the hair is somewhat pliable in certain spots. Like these sideburns can definitely move and come over his collar for poses like that. And so you can see the zipper is sculpted all the way down. I went over his buster or let you see that. Like this is very thick and solid. But if, as you saw in the movie, this thing is a combination of multiple swords. That's what it's supposed to be. And here's one of them. You can see where this transforms or pops out and becomes this sword. He actually comes with two of these. And they are molded differently. Like this part is on the outside. So this would have been the outside sword. And there is no way to combine all this. But they tried to fake it. I guess this would be the hollow sword once you take everything out. That feels wiggly. No, something on here feels wiggly. This, this top part. It's nicely painted. Roughly or close to the same length. And you see these jagged teeth part. So these are these swords right here. They're nice and solid. And lastly, this sword staff type thing. I want to call it, call it a sword because it is a bleed, but it has like this staff part in the center of it. So, I guess, yeah, they, darn, they tried to keep as accurate as possible because that's like perfectly molded to that shape. I didn't realize this, but this is on one of those Revoltech type joints. And I knocked it off. Before I end things, I want to show some shots of him holding these other weapons. So he can dual wield, as you can see. 
as you can see here, you can do more than just cast spells with these hands. Here's that same similar pose, but from the front. And since he has two of these guys, these swords are very, very freaking long. They're almost as tall as his body, all of his swords. And here he is with this one. So, there you are with that. I'm going to close things out with me attempting to get these swords in here while I'm giving my final thoughts. Final thoughts, this thing looks friggin' amazing. And as you saw, even though I was complaining about it being stiff and whatnot, I was capable of getting him into some cool poses. And at the end of the day, well, that's all that matters. And this thing is definitely good looking and it definitely feels premium as hell comes with a friggin' arsenal of weapons and I see getting these in here is a ton easier than getting them out pulling them out these comb teeth <laughs> grab on that the whole way up but putting it in there it was simple so yeah he's cool just take in mind the things that I complained about as far as like butterfly joint or lack thereof this wrist swivel and that'll vary depending on how much you play with it or how you keep it displayed it is way loose then on that side getting the sword in the hand on this side i guess is easier and the hand is more open now because it's been holding this sword for lord knows how long before kevin gave it to me but he is capable of doing a ton of his poses that he does. I just I just wish he had butterfly joint. I'm, I'm being greedy. But it is a good figure. And if you bought it and you like clout, especially this Advent Children's clout, I think you'll be satisfied with it. So, yes, I can recommend you buy it. And at friggin' full price, you, you won't be angry. Anywho, if you like this video, let me know in the comments that you liked it. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. I, re I read all my comments. I don't always reply because sometimes I don't know what to say to certain comments, <laughs> but I try. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click the notification bell because I upload often, damn near every stinking day, and I have all types of content. Until next time, DMAN978 out of here. Thank you for watching. videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click those in videos baby click click the videos you really should click those videos click on them